Good evening. I greet you all. It gives me a great pleasure, honor, to be present here today for this great occasion. And first of all, I thank for ICMP for inviting me this great occasion. My name is Bakari Jadama. I'm from the Gambia. I am 20 years old. I, I crossed this journey through Senegal, Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger, and finally in, in Libya. And my journey was so horrible. During, during my stay in Libya, I have been kidnapped for several times. During my kidnaps, they sell me like an organization and like a, a group of, group of uh, kidnappers. They used to buy and sell in me. The, my first kidnap, they sell me 250 dinars. But actually, I don't know how cost in euros. Was so miserable. So they put me in a prison. I say they call it a prison, but I don't think it's a prison. So I was there for five months in that prison. And that prison was horrible. And I I am I am tortured, beaten seriously. And right now and during that stay, I am I hit, they hit me in a, a gun, AK-47, in my head. And still now, I have a problem in my head. I, I thought I would, I would not be exist at this point in time. But I'm a tango, but still now my brain is not good. So during, during that prison, man, I suffer a lot. There is no good food, no good water, we drink. Toilet, like toilet water. And that one is not hygienic, and that food also is not good. That lets some people feel sick, and some finally die in the prison. And during the prison, there is mercy of, mercy of beating. So, and the living condition was very poor in the prison, because we, we sleep in the floor, like, like that, no blanket, no nothing. And that time was very cold in Libya. So that caused people some pneumonia, some, some have high, high, high blood pace, high blood, and the like. And that prison is horrible. <laughs> and they used to, they call me, just to pay a money for my release. Whenever they call me, you have to pay this amount, this hundred, this thousand dinars for your release. I respond to them. I don't have money, and my family don't have money to pay this fee. The more I talk about that, that they use, they beat me, hit me, and they must me a current, just just to call my family. And that one was not practically impossible because my family can, cannot afford that. So I, I insist not to call them, not to talk to them. But they keep on beating me. That make, hitting me guns made me my brain too. So I was faint. I was faint at that point in time. I was so, that's so miserable. And during my, then I have, I have I escaped to, to enter the military. To, but before I will enter the military, I have many steps. I have 
many steps towards entering the Italian humanitarian, but I was not successful for seven times. Yeah, I entered the rubber boot for seven times. I was not successfully entered. So during, during, during my stay in Libya, was so horrible because, to be frank enough, I experienced so many difficulties like brutal, beating, so miserable. So, in in latter part, when I was in the prison, I was escaped from that horrible and miserable thing in Libya. Then I cross, I came across a, friend, a, boy, a boy called Mustafa. So when I was on the way coming in Tripoli, I was so, I, I, I'm just like not a human being. Because when anybody saw me, he, will, he or she will feel me, the condition I am. I was, I was like dead. So Mustafa is, Mustafa is the one who helped me. He just hold me and, and, and brought me his, his apartment. He gave me shelter, food, and everything. And through, he made me to stay in his house for, for duration that I would be having an opportunity to, to cross the humanitarian. So we, we was together, and he is so good to me. Sorry, your, your friend Mustafa, uh, what was his origin? He's, Mustafa is from Senegal, Dakar. And during our stay in Libya, he made me to communicate with his family. Told his family, I came across a, a boy called Bakari. He's a good friend of mine. So I tried with I do communicate with the family the time I'm in Tripoli. Yeah. Yeah. About my friend that has missed Mustafa. It's, it's, it affects me so much to miss F, such a good friend like Mustafa. Much more his family. <coughs> I, I was doing research or search to find Mustafa through Facebook and WhatsApp, the groups, to share his f pictures so that I will be come across of my beloved friend. Still now, I'm in the process for doing that, but still now, there is no information about Mustafa. Courtesy of uh, Pamela that make, introduced me with I, ICMP and IOM, IOM to make sure, to help me to find my beloved friend Mustafa. And I hope sooner or later I will find my friend Mustafa. Yeah, and, and, and also my mom, because I, I, don't, I don't want to talk about my mom, but I'm, I must talk about it, because my mom feel about me. Since I left my country, my mom didn't have any information about me. She was trying his level best to have information about me, how I was, either I'm in, a, I'm in a good condition or not. But so unfortunately, I was in the prison, I was, I was nowhere to be found. So he, she did not have any information. And he was very sick. Because of me, she has been admitted at the hospital for several times because of high blood and thinking, I, I believe he's 
Maybe he was thinking about me. And so unfortunately, when I ent entered in Italy, then before I was having his, num his number, but when I entered here, I don't have his number. So I have a friend, Facebook. So that, what, that I contact to get my mom's number. And when I call my mom, she do not believe. It's me, Bakari. He said, is it Bakari? I said, yeah, it's mom, it's me. He said, no, don't believe. He said, are you alive? I said, I am alive. Big relief. And I'm very sorry about what happened to my mom. Because of me, he was sick and admitted in the hospital. And that one, I feel it so much. Yeah.